Hi, this is Scott Pop for Mobility Minute. We're going to talk about does your movement look old or young? And what the movement shows me about what joint or what pathology you have. Let's just talk about aging of the movement patterns of your body. When we're younger, we move and our head is very neutral or straight as we move. As we get older and our hips get weaker, we deflect to the side and you see this often with people with poor hip function. So they start to laterally translate and their hip extension shortens. And when that happens, they start to slump and lean forward so that they actually walk like this. And so they have very poor animation of hip extension and they have very poor stability when you're at one leg stance and walking. Hip weakness and gluteal weakness is a major factor in aging and it mirrors how fast our body deteriorates. So you can actually monitor people's gait and give them a biological age in their locomotor system. Another way to look at it is if you stand on one leg and my foot is here, my head should not deflect over that foot this far. It should stay medial to that. So when I go on each foot, if I have a strong hip complex, my head will stay to the medial side or inner side. If it's weak, then I will deflect way over my foot like this to get better balance and not have to use my hip muscles. So that's another way to look at your own hip function and it will also be applicable if you have weak knees so or ankles, but mostly the hip. This posture can reflect a lot of arthritis in the lower back and that creates lack of hip extension. If you've had disc bulges or injuries to your lower back, you will shorten your gait and you will certainly not be vertical. Also, if you have um, weakness to your energy systems in your body, your postural systems will suffer and you will start to slump like this also. So this is very interesting. So when I see a patient, I automatically look at their gait when they walk in. I wanna see, are they translating like this? Are they walking like this? I look at their gait to see how far their hip extends because all of these things can be corrected. We have to look at the antagonistic muscles and how they're shortened or lengthened or weak or strong. So we isolate the weak spots. You're always gonna look at trying to facilitate the weak areas of your locomotor system. It's not only isolated to your lower back, but your shoulder function, your scapula function is very important for this stability aspect here. So tightness in your upper traps, uh, weakness in your lower traps, weakness in any part of that chain can affect your body's ability to stand. What you're gonna do is you're going to avoid trying to look like John Wayne or an old man walking like this so everything in my office we do is to try to reverse that and bring youthfulness back to your locomotor system. I hope this helped. It's very interesting. Take my notes and go to the mall and look at people's gates and you can basically, ex you can extrapolate some things based on how they're moving and note which joint or which part of their system is not functioning good. So again, this is Scott Pop for Mobility Minute. Hope this helped and you enjoyed this video. Thanks.